hello guys and welcome back to my channel today is tuesday and this is going to be a special installment of vogue for if you had a chance to watch the last vogue formation um this will be the second edition to that series if you haven't had a chance to see what i am talking about click the button down below i can take a look at that video before you watch this one i have my trusty let your imagination soar journal which means that i have some really good inspirational stuff to talk to you guys about today i also have a couple of tools here to the left of me so i'm gonna go ahead and get started hopefully you guys have had a chance to check out the monday rogue formation which went live yesterday and you will be able to understand exactly what I am talking about today um, the topic of the post was failure to plan is planning to fail um, I took one of my favorite mantras and decided to use that as the title I felt it was very fitting for what I was talking about so I know you guys have probably heard that mantra before a lot of times but it's very true failing to plan is plans to fail I've kind of taken that mantra and used it as a words of wisdom for the way that I've been moving forward in my life. So I want to talk to you guys about goals, about setting goals and how to stay on that path of obtaining and executing. This year I decided to not do a resolution. If you've been here on my channel you would know that I started doing that about three years ago where I do not set resolutions but instead now I set life goals. So in the new year I decided to set a life goal. I've taken the time to write out everything that I need to do and I am steadily on that path to try to meet my goal. And so I'm going to share with you guys the three tools that I use to try to obtain that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow because everybody has a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It dawned on me um, about a week ago that I'm still on my path. Most people when they set a resolution or a goal or whatever you want to consider it to be, about 30 days into it you kind of fall off of that path. I realized last week that I was way beyond the 30 days of the, I guess, failure window if we want to call it that. And I was still on that path of trying to obtain my goal and I was very proud of myself and I had to actually sit and think about, okay, what am I doing that kept me so inspired and kept that fire under my behind basically to keep moving forward and then that's when I came to realize that I've set in place three major tools that have kind of kept me focused like beyond my imagination it wasn't just something that I merely wrote down put it on a sheet of paper and pushed it off to the side I've actually implemented things within my life to keep me on that path so I'm gonna give you guys the three tools that I've been using very first thing that I that I did two days before New Year's is I set a plan now that probably sounds crazy you're probably thinking a plan for what what are you planning for well, think of it this way um, when you want to start a business you create a business plan you have to create this plan for multiple reasons. One, for yourself, so that you understand your mission and what your product is, if it is a product, your item. You have to understand your consumer. There's so many layers that goes into a business plan. So the reason for creating this plan is because you want to kind of get everything out of your head, put it on paper, and ultimately what you will end up doing is giving that plan to potential investors. Well, think of a life plan as that way, the same way as a business plan. Your life plan is your own investment into yourself so I learned this exercise some years ago and I just started recently implementing it and if you go on the blog I went a little more in depth into exactly how this came about but I'm gonna give you the short version of it here basically some years ago when I graduated from college um, I was talking to my then life coach I had great aspirations great dreams and I still do to this day and I was just so bright-eyed and so excited about life I'm like yes I graduated this is what I want to do and she was like awesome that's what you want to do but okay take a sheet of paper write down where you are now and where you want to be and I did that handed it to her overly excited like yes you know this is my plan I, I, I have it I, I know this is my destiny she took the paper and she kindly gave it back to me and she asked me to fill in that space fill in that space with obtainable steps to meet your goal and I don't know if you can see it here but I have it stuck up there on my wall I actually found it two years ago um, I did half 
half of that plan. And the reason why I did half of that plan is because somewhere along the line, I just forgot about it. When I created that plan, I typed it up, I folded it up, she told me to put it in my wallet and to constantly carry it with me as a reminder. But somewhere along that life path, life just took hold and maybe I switched wallets and it disappeared. But now it's on my wall as a constant reminder that, okay, this is something that you created years ago. Is it still the same? Are you going to continue to do it? So what I decided to do a couple of days before New Year's is I sat down and I wrote a whole new life plan. And I wrote down where I currently am now because it's totally different from where I was some years ago. And I wrote my goal, which is still the same. It has never changed. And in between, I took the time between here and there to write obtainable steps to reach my goal. And that list is currently with me but I've implemented other things to reinforce it so that the same thing that happened to that list some years ago doesn't happen to this list that I currently have so the other things that I have put in place the number one tool that I've used is a planner so this is my planner um, I got it from Target it is from the sugar and paper line it's very simple it has a month view it has days views and you can write everything down sounds like a very simple planner you can go out and buy this anybody can but what I've done differently is on every single month I've taken the time to put some type of mantra some type of uh, motto something that will help me stay grounded I've placed that in the months in the at a glance month sections in addition to that I've purchased these little feathers here and there's a feather on every month and every feather has just a little saying on it. It reminds me, this is just constant reinforcement, constant reinforcement. The next thing that I do in this journal, which is my number one tool, is that inside the day views, I've taken the time every day, every single day, at the beginning or at the end of the day, preferably at the beginning, I take the time to write down my dash deposits. And I'll go further into that in this video and to exactly where that came from and what that is. But every day I have today's dash deposits and I write about three to five different dash deposits. What these are, are they are three to five things that you must do today, things that you must do. It could be as simple as spend time with your kids once you get off of work, no social media for four hours after you get off of work. These are things that you have to do to function, to take time out, to stay on your go. For me, I factored in that once I get home, I don't do social media. I set my phone aside and I spend time with my daughter. I do not pick my phone back up until she has laid down to go to sleep. And when I pick that phone back up, I'm switching hats. At that time, I then go into social media and I'm up. I allot myself a certain amount of hours to be up making videos for you guys, editing videos, and doing blog posts for you guys. These are things that I'm setting aside for myself so that I can reach my goal. Constant, constant reinforcement will help you get closer to your goal. This will be your go-to goal. Any thoughts you have, any notes, any ideas, they all go in here and sometimes in here. The second tool that I use is an app. Now, everybody has cell phones, everybody has tablets. My tablet and my cell phone has this new app on it that I just um, downloaded an app. It's called Go Wizard by Brian Tracy, and this is amazing. Um, I installed it on my phone in January, and I have yet to actually get through setting it up. But what it does is it scrapes beyond the surface of your Go, he makes you line out long-term goals, short-term goals, you know, what your highs and lows are. A little messages pop up on my phone at the end of the day is asking me questions. What was the high and what was the low of your day today? What's this week's goals? And it holds you to it. It pops up on your phone with whatever goal that you stuck in there because you have to put a date, making you accountable. And it reminds you, okay, yeah, I did make a promise to myself to do this. Am I going to do it or am I going to roll it over to the next day? Once again, this is another great way to reinforce your goals. The last thing is surrounding yourself by as much positive energy as you can find, whether that be coming on here on YouTube and finding YouTubers that are talking about inspirational stuff. I have a nice little playlist of inspirational YouTubers here that I check in with 
every time I see their video, I'm clicking on it to get inspired because they're like-minded people that are talking about things that I am truly interested in. I will list some of my favorite inspirational YouTubers down below so you guys can check them out if you're looking for visual inspiration. But if you're looking for another type of inspiration, um, literature is inspiration. There are currently three books that I am reading. Um, one I've completely finished. The first one is, um, the first one is Act Like a Success, Think Like a Success by Steve Harvey. I just finished that book. That's where I got the idea to do dash deposits, daily dash deposits. He talks about that in his book and I thought that was like a great idea. So I started implementing that. That was a really good book. It really helped me to open my eyes on to stop dragging your feet. If you want to do something, do it. And the next book that I'm currently reading is T.D. Jake's Instincts. I just started this book. It's very interesting so far. And um, if so you guys far, I am really into this book. The last book on my look uh, on my list, which is next to read after the T.D. Jake's book, Russell Simmons, Success Through Stillness. So those are the three books that are currently on my list to read, to feed my mind, to just put positivity into my mind and to kind of keep me focused, keep me grounded. Um, the funny thing about these three books are these are three men that I actually look up to in the business world. I have a great respect for them and the things that they have done. So I think it's amazing that they have written these amazing books and I can actually get my hands on some of their knowledge. So that is the third thing that I use in my three tools for staying on the correct path for a go. So. That is all that I have for you guys today. I do, I do hope this was helpful. I hope that it resonated with you and you could find some inspiration in everything that I just shared with you guys today. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I do hope that you are enjoying these um, videos. This is just kind of a little test here. I don't know if I will continue on past February. Um, this was only supposed to done, be done every two weeks. So this will be, unfortunately, the last one. I've only done two this month. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, be sure to click the like button, um, leave a comment down below, and I might possibly start doing these in March. So, mwah.